And first at four, Cleveland needs to do more to tackle violent crime. That is just part of the message that came from today's safety committee meeting. The police chief and public safety director were among those uh, from the mayor's office to come to the table. Council members express frustration and anger about the growing violence in the streets and what they see as the shortfalls within the police department and the city's response to crime. Several said they had been flooded with more messages from residents about public safety than ever before. Specifically, council members called out the struggle to recruit and retain officers, the lack of police pursuits that leads to more suspects getting away, and the lack of progress after several investments in public safety. Anger and the frustration in our community is palpable. Um, it is the most frustrated that I've seen officers. I get calls and texts every single day from officers that are overwhelmed and I'm getting concerned because they're even at the point that they're at a breaking point. The men and women of the division of police, we are short, we are being taxed, but these, these men and women are working very hard, very hard. The police chief and public safety director who you just heard from pointed to technology like ShotSpotter that has saved lives and led to arrests. They talked about the mayor's rise initiative that includes more investments in public safety and policing, uh, the increase in police pay they talked about, the ongoing negotiations with police unions, and the marketing firm that the city recently brought on to help recruit officers. Well, the police chief also broke down the staffing numbers within the department, so we'll talk more about those numbers, including how many they anticipate hiring this year. That's coming up in the news at 5.